Oh my god, just peeps in my a universal world of peeps. Welcome to Showtime with the Mama. Today is a very, very, very special day because I'm going to be making for you some really delicious homemade, what I call my wedding feast special plum tart treats. Oh yeah, now let me break it down. I, this weekend, am going to a wedding. Yes, my goddaughter, Briya, is getting married. Um, poor thing. They've had to cancel this wedding three times now because of the virus and everything. But we are finally able to meet in person. And we're having a festival. Oh, yes. A festival. And guess what? Moi. That means me. I... I am going to be the officiant. Yes, I am going to bless the wedding. I got married back in May at the official, you know, at the registry office. But this is the one where we can now invite all of our friends and family to celebrate. And let me show y'all. When I say I'm there, I'm real. Let me show you. Here we go. This is the wedding officiant. Official wow. Oh, yes. Mama Cherry is ordained on the internet. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing the service. So I've got, this is my little uh, booklet. I got my speech written up. I got everything ready. But let me stop dilly dallying and get on with the recipe. Okay, so this is so easy. I am making plum tarts, okay, with puff pastry. Now, this is vegan. She's a vegan, so this is a vegan re a vegan wedding. I'm also doing the vegan um, wedding breakfast. I'll give you that menu in another video. But, what you want to do, look here. I got tons and tons of plums. Now, I cut them up and sprinkled them with sugar yesterday, but then I thought, oh God, I better save one and show you how to cut one. Now, this was a small one that I'm not using too tiny, but all you want to do is get yourself a knife, you go around, and then you just twist. And when you twist it, you see how it breaks apart, and then you just remove the stone. Okay, that's your stone there, and that's it. So, this is a different variety of plums. This isn't the one I'm using, but I'd already cut those ones up. So, let me show you. This is so simple. Get your plums, cut them, de-seed them, and add some sugar and just let them marinate. Then you want to get yourself some puff pastry. Now before we do that, this is vegan butter. You can get all sorts of vegan butters out there now. This one, plant-based, okay? This is the one from Flora. This is, and I just want to melt this down. Let me just put this here, get that out of my way. So we're just going to put that in and just melt that. In the meantime, get your puff pastry, open it up, it's really simple, and I buy the ready-made, ready-roll, because I ain't got time, mama ain't got time, we wait, alright, see how quick that was, really quick, melts down, so, all I want to do with this is I stretch it just a bit, I don't want to roll it because I want that puffiness. And then we're going to cut this into threes. And then we just need squares about, the, what you want to do is you need your plum to sit in the middle there. So let's just cut like this. Okay, we'll come back to you when I finish cutting. Push stop. Okay, so you can see how I've cut my squares. Now at this stage, you want to get your vegan butter and you just want to just kind of brush over it. Really quick and simple. Then I have here some sugar. I'm going to add that to a bowl and I'm now going to add some nutmeg. And I'm going to add some cinnamon. So we're just kind of making up like a cinnamon sugar. Okay. 
then you want to take this and you're going to sprinkle this over. Just get a good amount. Now I made this recipe yesterday just as a tester because sometimes your, fl your plums can be quite tart or hard and I wanted to try it with just baking them without blanching them first and I'm glad I did because even though they seem a little bit firm when you cook them they, they soften up and you want a tiny bit of a bite but what I did notice was that it just needed a teeny bit of extra sugar so that's why I'm now adding the sugar to the base. Then you want to just get your plums. Oh, now when you get your plums, the other thing you want to do is you get them and you want to score them. Just cut down like this so that they're like pieces. And that way it'll help it to cook all the way through. So I've done that to all of them. Then you want to pick up your plum. You just want to put a little extra sugar on the top. And what you want to do is you're just folding these in and then you can see I have put some grease food paper in my pan so let me just do a couple more of those with you on camera just so you can see I kind of just pull it once I have it uh oh I can see that's one I miss so it's always good to check so that's it just give it a little bit there we go Touch a little bit more sugar and then just fold those corners over and drop it in. So, I'll come back to you when the pan is full. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I am now assembling my last one. Let's get this in. Then I'm going to show you the next step. So... I've got two pieces here enough. I'm going to put some blueberries in those for later. <laughs> I love blueberries, so I'll just stick those there. So now, let me just show you the next step. See, we have two trays. So now, remember we... Okay, guys, so now remember I buttered the inside. Well, vegan buttered. So now we're going to go over the top. This is going to help with the browning process. So just go over generously. Ooh, they're going to be good. Now let's do these ones. Okay, next step. We are going to now, let me just wipe my hands, put some sugar on them. <laughs> and I'm about to put more on it. We're going to take our sugar. We're just going to go over the top. And the final step. Going to get my lemon. This You don't have to do this stage, but I just fancy it. And what I'm going to do, and it's only because y'all know me, I got me my new gadget and I'm going to use it. <laughs> so I'm going to squeeze my lemon squeezer in. Let me show y'all. Oh, cool. And then what? Oh, oh that's how it works. Yeah, that's how it should work. Ah, come on now. Don't fail me now. It's dripping out. Can you see it coming? Wait a minute. It's only dripping, yeah. It's meant to... This bad boy meant to squeeze out. That's the only reason I wanted to show off. <laughs> Hold up. There's a lot of juice in there, so let me mm. try this one more time. There we go. I heard the squeeze. Oh, it ain't working, y'all. <laughs> so let me do it. I'm just going to, I just want a little bit of lemon juice. Just a bit. Squeeze just some lemon juice over it. Pile, 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 pile. Wipe my hands, and then it goes straight into a hot oven. It should take about 20 minutes, but we'll see. So, let's just place this in the oven. And we'll see you in a minute. Turn it off. You caught me. <laughs> Catch taking my photos. 
but don't they look good, guys? Really nice. Oh, let me see here. I'm going to let them cool completely before I try and rip them away. But at the end, you can get yourself some powdered sugar, which is like icing sugar, and just sprinkle those over the top. And boom, let it boom, let it boom, they're done. Don't they look delicious? Like I do. can't wait to get them ready for my wedding celebration. So, guys, with a little bit of peace, whole lot of love and soul from the wedding officiate mama. You two can book me. I'll even do an online wedding for you if you like. Just hit the mama up. Bye.